What's up guys, Sim here, and this is Street Race Talk, episode 170, and this week we have some great stuff to talk about, getting back into talking about Street Outlaws, and some real street stuff to talk about, and I can't wait to talk about it, but unfortunately, we're going to be wrapping up this episode with some unfortunate news, but first... Like we used to do, this is, I love doing this, because once we start doing this, that means Street Outlaws is back, and we're starting off this episode by talking about Street Outlaws. This past Monday, we had a two-hour episode of JJ's Arm Drop. It was a great episode, full of tons of awesome, cool racing, and there was two topics I wanted to pull out from that. First one was when Jamie Otts came out after his first race, and you saw his son, hug him right there I thought that was just such a cool scene showing how with JJ and his races and kind of with what JJ was saying himself too they don't focus it as much about like the down and dirty racers and stuff like that they focus it around friends and family and having everyone come together having a good time JJ said himself that they're putting that race on there in order to get the fans out get families out there to come out and enjoy racing and watch all their favorite street laws out there at the race I mean, it looked like such an amazing event, and seeing that one scene right there, I think, kind of just, if I were to sum it up in one picture, it'd be that scene right there, and also, there was that red Malibu at the beginning, I apologize, I don't remember who he raced off the top of my head, but there was that red Malibu wagon, I thought that car looked awesome, I love wagons, and I just loved how that car looked, unfortunately, it went out first round, But still, it was a very cool car, and that was a very good episode as well. And now this coming Monday, we will be seeing the Demolition Derby from the 405. This is when McDougal and Chuck went at it. There was that huge, crazy fight that was all over the internet. Everyone was talking about it. We talked about it here on Street Race Talk. Go check that episode out if you want to see and hear what went down. Chuck and McDougal got in some, a little incident, and we might be seeing that on this upcoming episode of Street Outlaws, but we will for sure be seeing the Demolition Derby, and I know they have racers from all the seasons on there. I think there even might have been a couple of out-of-town racers at that Demolition Derby. It's going to be crazy and funny to watch, and I can't wait to watch it this Monday. McDougal made a post on Instagram. It was, it was a meme, and he said, when you're... It's, implied that he was close to finishing his car it was like someone's eyebrows they were super close together he's like how close are you to finishing your car it showed some goofy pictures someone with their eyebrows like a centimeter apart or some stuff like that and that implies he is close to finishing his car we've been talking about it for i mean a while now we talked about a little bit of a couple weeks back and even last week i don't remember off the top of my head real quick about that but we were recently talking about it and it looks like we're gonna be talking about it some more in the future because it sounds like he's getting close to wrapping up that car and taking it back out on the streets pd small block was doing some work to his mustang the car we saw him race boosted gt on street outlaws with not the camaro the blue Mustang. He said he was uh, doing some work to it. I apologize. This did happen a couple weeks ago. He made this post. I just I apologize. I didn't get around to talking about it, but he said she's almost ready. Can't wait to get back in the saddle. He posted that at the beginning of this month. Looking forward to seeing one of the legends of street racing, PD Smallblock himself, back out on the streets. Probably doing some grudge racing as well. I mean, this will be cool to see Brian Davis coming back with his car. Petey Smallblock coming back. Two huge names on the street and in grudge racing right there. Looking forward to seeing that. This past weekend was TX2K and Limpy put on a cash days. What some call the Super Bowl of street racing being TX2K and to who I look at as being the godfather of street racing. The guy that started the whole street outlaw scene and came up with this race we all know and love known as cash days was out there putting on a crazy race. There was tons of awesome crazy races that went down and I want to go all super in depth in it but there was tons of other guys that did a much better job than I did because they got videos of the race they were actually there competing racing recording doing whatever and I want you guys to go check some of these other channels out Limpy himself on his channel I think it's like Limpy DFWSS I believe is his YouTube channel he did live streams on it go check that out Street Racing Channel is putting out 
It looks like it's going to be an amazing video. It might already be up by the time you guys are hearing this, so go check that out as well. They posted a trailer for it, and man, I can't wait to see that video. It looks like it's going to be awesome. I know 660 Streets was there. I know Big Rob was there. There's tons of amazing content from this past weekend all over the internet. If it's not up by now, I'm sure it's going to be coming up soon. I mean, the race just happened last week. Pretty, that'll be a pretty quick turnaround time. I know a lot of these guys are trying to pump this video out as soon as they possibly can, so just give it time. If not, all of them are out. But I know some of them are already. Go check out Limpy's channel. Check out the Street Racing channel. And look for the others in the coming days. This race was super crazy and super awesome, and I, you guys do not want to miss this. You definitely want to check it out. Billy from the Street Racing channel was down there with his truck he was racing he ended up doing some grudge racing as well i know he raced prime that all-wheel drive truck from dfw it was a crazy weekend and there was one car i want to talk about i've personally never seen it before it was the jeepers creepers this crazy looking rat rod type jeep that guy was out racing it that truck or jeep i guess that thing is crazy super cool and he made a post earlier in this week about his truck he did an engine swap on the thing he said blue this was last sunday blew the motor racing a heavy hitter that morning swapped the motor out and was back racing that night that is a die hard street racer right there and that's the kind of stuff i love to see and i love to talk about here on street race talk so guys like i said go check out lippy's channel the street racing channel 660 streets big rob all those guys go check out their videos of this race hear it from me i was watching on lippy's i was watching on facebook i'm looking forward to the street racing channel video there was t- it was a crazy race and you guys do not want to miss it so go check out all the crazy awesome videos that are be coming out of this cash days that limpy put on down at tx2k19 and now time to get to the main topic and this is some unfortunate news right here the pad is from what i understand no more Arguably, and to what I believe to be the most infamous street racing spot in the world, where guys like Kai Kelly, John Doe, the Godfather, the Bird Bros, some huge crazy names in the street outlaws world, in the drag racing world, in the street racing world, all came from that spot. And unfortunately, it looks like there's not going to be very much street racing going down there anymore. I saw this post on Facebook. It said, RIP to the greatest street race spot ever in the world. The infamous The Pad. Camera placed at the quarter mile marker. You guys are seeing the picture right now of it. And from what I understand what happened is there was a murder at the spot. It was some guy had no business being there. What From what I understood, he did, wasn't involved in in the street racing at all it was some other random guy i guess that was just there shit hit the fan there ended up being bloodshed unfortunately i mean that's just horrible to hear horrible to see and it really sucks that some guy that had no business being there with that group of people that were out there racing i don't i'm not gonna try and point i'm not trying to point any fingers say anything like that i don't know that much about the information and i don't want to go a kind because it does seem like it is a sensitive topic i don't want to go super crazy in depth on that saying opinions and things like that but from what i understood it wasn't before because i know people can be saying oh street racing street racing because that's just it was that street racing spot something happened they're gonna instantly blame street racers from what i understand it wasn't someone involved in the street racers or in the street racing or in any of the racing that goes down there at all it was some other guy for the piece i read said it was some guy that had absolutely no business being there i can only assume that was some guy that was not involved in street racing at all because if you're at the pad you're involved in street racing and it just really sucks to see something like this happen i mean yes with the situation and what did happen that sucks to see but also with it looks like they're not going to race there anymore i mean you got a security camera sitting there i mean yeah you see sometimes the police will try and put speed bumps down in the road i mean i've seen guys go out there and pull those things up out of the ground and continue to race on the spot but this is kind of different kind of technology kicking us in the ass right here preventing them from racing there anymore down at the quarter mile marker if anyone races there they're sure to fly past that camera with their face there the car their plate there whatever you want to call it and unfortunately it looks like there isn't gonna be very much racing going down at the pad anymore now this could not be true i mean 
Because I remember a little while back, I remember Bobby Ducati was the one that posted this. He said RIP to pad. There was like, I think they put, they were going to put speed bumps or there was plans to do something to the road. It might have been completely get rid of the road. I don't remember what exactly what it was. But I remember Bobby Ducati made a post saying RIP to pad that saying it was no more. Looks like whatever was going to happen ended up not going through and they did continue to race. So fingers crossed that the same situation happens here with this maybe who knows someone breaks the camera the police decide to take it down something happens that allows them to continue racing at this spot because this is kind of the ultimate thing to stop people from racing like i said with speed bumps you see guys could stop that could take that out so they could continue to race there but with a camera it's much different because it's video evidence of people racing yeah you see this stuff all over like instagram youtube facebook even on street outlaws itself you see all that stuff all over the place but i think if the police put the camera there it's gonna be different and i mean i'm sure they probably have because i they probably have like some live feed going from that camera so say they see the guys out there they'll just come over there and shut the whole thing down i personally don't know what to say that much about this i want to hear what you guys have to say about this seeing the camera at the spot placed at the quarter mile marker what do you guys think is gonna happen as of right now it looks like the pad is no more this is a huge hit to the street racing world it just really really sucks hopefully they do find some solution and are able to continue racing there but as of right now it looks like the pad is no more so that is all i hope you guys enjoyed thank you all so much for listening to the very end of this video make sure you guys tune in this wednesday for another video of my car hopefully i'll have betsy back by then and we'll be doing the break in on the camshaft and getting that thing running and driving this if I do get the car back. This is definitely a video you guys do not want to miss. So make sure you guys tune in this Wednesday for another video of my car. And make sure you guys tune in next Friday for Street Race Talk episode 171. Where as always, we'll be talking about all the news that happens this week in street racing. And make sure you guys click that little bell. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. I upload all my videos at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. But for some reason, maybe you don't realize it's 6 p.m. And say maybe CXYZ is uploading a video. You get that notification on your phone and go watch my video right away make sure you guys leave your comments down below i want to hear what you guys have to say about this situation at the pad like i said before i don't i don't know what to really think about it i don't know if because they said before that the pad was going away they weren't gonna be able to race there anymore they still end up being able to race there so i don't know what to take from this what do you guys think about it leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below i read absolutely all the comments are applied to just about all of them and make sure you guys follow me on instagram at sim abc xyz don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz signing out